Hi YouTube, how are you guys doing? Hope everyone is well um, and that you're having a wonderful May. Today's the 2nd of May and yeah, today's video I thought we should do a little bit of a, a looking back, you know, at where we've come from and some lessons that we've learned in business. And I'll be speaking from my point of view, lessons that I've learned um, as an entrepreneur. Um, yeah, and you know, hopefully this can help somebody who's starting out in business or somebody who um, could benefit from, you know, the lessons that I, I've experienced. Okay, so the first thing that I'd like to mention is the importance of delighting your customers. Um, always make sure that you leave a very good impression with the clients that you work with. So, yeah, it's important that they become your ambassadors so to speak so delighting your customers is very important um, and that i think is achieved by making sure that you deliver on what you promise to deliver on and that you you also get the kind of if you understand the brief that they've given you, you you're delivering what they've required um yeah and that they're happy with what what you've done okay I'm going to keep looking down because I, I've written some notes because there's obviously a couple of things to remember and I don't want to forget. Okay, and I think another thing is to remember that you are an expert. So you are an expert and you should act like one. What does that mean? So for example, our business, Nasiri Media Communications, we offer content creation and marketing and from there we I have to um, often give clients advice on what strategies would best suit their businesses. So you have to offer quite a lot of consultation um, and give them pointers based on what's worked previously, show them what their competitors are doing, um, show them what industry best practice is. So always remember that you're an expert and that you have more information than your clients in the service that you're offering. So yeah, always act like like an expert. Okay, this one, it took me a while to, um, to really get around. Um, and I mean, I guess I understand why, because um, when you start, you often don't have big budgets and you can't afford to employ um, sometimes people or anyone at all. But it is really important to, to delegate and to understand that you can't do it all. You know, so, um, you know, say for example, you're doing PR for a client and maybe your forte is, is writing, you know, um, and then you should find somebody who's going to actually do the pitching to clients, sending out the press releases to the media, trying to get the interviews. Because sometimes you can't, you can't be great at all of it so so delegate make sure that you find people who can help you because if you want to do all of it under the name of saving costs then you're probably going to do a bad job and if you can't afford to employ somebody to help you you're probably undercharging so if you find yourself in a predicament where you feel like you have to do it all it's probably because you're undercharging um, and two you probably shouldn't be doing it all um, to start with okay oh okay another one is feedback so feedback you know it works both ways sometimes you get great feedback and that's also important for learning because if your client is particularly happy with the way you handle this particular thing then you obviously want to replicate and keep doing that again um, but sometimes you also get negative feedback and you need to be open to, to hearing it and also open to really absorbing it and seeing how you can do it better next time. So feedback is very, very important. I mean, I know with our events, our women in business events, we um, of, um, we do a feedback form at the end of each event where we ask clients like, what did you enjoy about the event? What didn't you enjoy? You know, what would you like for us to include? Um, and that really helps you fast track um, your offering. Um, hearing directly from the people who you want to offer the service to. Okay, um, this one, you know, I think it, it could work for everybody, but 
in our particular business, I think what I've learned is that even if you are a service business, you should really also offer a product. You know, so what do I mean by that? So for example, in a city meeting communications is very much um, a service business. We offer content creation, marketing, uh, public relations, event management. Um, and then we decided that, okay, you know, this is great, but what kind of product could we offer that's our own? Um, and that also helps with revenue because if you aren't getting clients from your services, then you can get money from your product. So then that's when we decided to introduce Women in Business Seminar, which is our product that we offer, which is um, marketing business women um, and also helping to increase the profile um, for business women. So product and service, I think, really go close together, go hand in hand. Okay. Um, Another big one that I learned is don't assume anything. So sometimes you think, oh, this is really great. We've just come up with an excellent product. Everyone's going to love it. And then you put your life savings and you put everything that you've worked so hard for into this idea, only to find that people don't want that. Um, so before you, you do anything, it's really important to test the waters, to do your research, to, um, yeah, to not assume anything. And to rather go to market and see what market is looking for directly. Okay. Um, and then I think another thing that's always important to remember as a business person, as an entrepreneur, is that you are a problem solver. Entrepreneurs are problem solvers. So you need to work on your problem solving skills. Okay. So what do I mean by that? Um, problem solving is entrepreneurship. You have to find a problem create a solution. So that doesn't stop, but you continuously solving problems. And yeah, you have to you have to keep that in mind always and um, that, that you are essentially a problem solver. And I think the last one um, is that okay, I've actually got three more, but I, I'm gonna add one. And I think that's going to be don't stop taking action. So um, you just it's it's you gotta keep going. You gotta keep going every single day. Every single day, you have to take action, and that's a big one. So if you stop sending pictures for two weeks, it's going to show at the end of the month. If you um, have a great idea but you do nothing about it, that's a problem, you know. So you always, always have to keep doing something. You have to keep taking action, and that's really the only way that you know you can grow. So yeah, those are just a couple of lessons that I've learned um, as an entrepreneur. And if you have um, any lessons that you'd like to share with us, please do so in the comments. And yeah, I'll see you soon.